This is how you can get survival food for just over $3 a day with food stamps. It's no cook, no water needed. So, what you can do is there are food stamps. Um, they can buy well, canned food. And canned food has a shelf life of, they say 10 years. Some say indefinitely, but that's not been confirmed. But most places say 10 years is safe. It's pretty well agreed upon. Um, and it's just over $3 a day. What you want to do is get something called Snow's Clam Chowder. It's tomato based, just to warn you. Um, so Snow's Clam Chowder, it's about two cents um, an ounce. It rarely goes between one and three cents an ounce right now. Um, it's clams, so it's got some good fat. Um, it doesn't have very many carbs, um, so that can be a problem, which is why you need uh, beans. Uh, Goya has a uh, and you want to get the multi-pack, like an eight-pack or something of the, of the clam chowder. So it's like 31 cents per can. And it's a 24-pack, so you got 31 cents or so per can. And, uh, yeah, it's actually, uh, it's got like 11 grams of protein. So it's a good source of protein, kind of. It's 210 calories, so, you know, you got some calories there. Uh, the other thing you can get is... Uh, be, uh, beans from Goya, I found. Right now, they're having garbanzo beans in um, a multi pack of like six for 10 bucks or so. And the garbanzo beans are six cents an ounce, and there are plenty of carbs in there. It's a little fat um, and a lot of fiber. One can has like 14 grams of fiber. And uh, honestly, you can, um, you might have problems with getting the fat, but it's survival. You have to do what you can. You but you get a good shot at getting your macros and uh, get enough calories to survive. If you don't like garbanzo beans, um, you can do green beans by the Green Giant, which is like four cents an ounce. But of course, if it's four cents an ounce, the problem is it's not as good as the uh, pinto beans because it doesn't have as much protein. Or garbanzo beans, sorry, garbanzo beans, not pinto, garbanzo beans. Um, chickpeas or those calls those cart they're also called but yeah you're talking about green beans like four cents an ounce um but it doesn't have as much, doesn't have as much protein i don't know about fiber um so it may not be as good but yeah you're looking about just over three dollars in a, a day no heat no wire necessary uh no cook i mean you can heat it by just putting the can over a little bit over uh candle you know tea light candle just leave a little space for uh you know air to get in there so it burns clean because otherwise you're gonna get soot and everything all over the place that's the thing uh the black smoke actually comes from not having enough uh oxygen to the flame no smoke does um so do that i mean you could probably get like an empty tin can that will uh and then make it stable some how on top and just put uh bunch of holes in the tin can beneath it have the large enough tin holes in the tin can beneath it and put the tea light candle in the bottom of that can beneath it and just cook it that way just heat it up but uh you can get pretty much that's pretty good for you and you can get food stamps however if you do want to um change the beans out for something else say you have a a bean allergy or something um you could I just want to say real quick about the beans. Um, sorry, I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to sell you on them, but there's also kidney beans that are uh, 11 cents or so, and organic black beans for like 11 cents, and regular black beans for 10. But you have to get like six packs. Um, but if you don't like those, uh, you could go with a number of Chef Boyardee products, um, like the ravioli or the uh, macaroni and cheese. Those are about 10 cents an ounce. And the same thing with, uh, what do you call it, uh, SpaghettiOs and SpaghettiOs with meatballs and SpaghettiOs with hot dogs, you know. Um, those are about $0.10 cents an ounce, and you can get those with food stamps. And again, they're no cook, no water uh, necessary, and they'll last for 10 years plus. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you, you know, let's survive this together.